Hey, this is David with Various, and today, I just kind of want to recap, um, basically the last, uh, two events that I've gotten to be a part of, uh, really excited about, um, I guess not be a part of, but just, um, to go to an experience. Um, but, let's see. This weekend um, is when I did both of them. The first one was uh, my wife and I, and I've talked about this for a past few videos. Um, I don't know. But this, this weekend, um, today is Monday, uh, this weekend my wife and I went to go see um, Singing in the Rain uh, down at Beef and Boards in Indianapolis. And if you're not from Indiana, more than likely you've never even heard of Beef and Board, um, because as far as I know, there's only one Beef and Board anywhere. Um, but it's kind of like, it's a little off-Broadway kind of thing, um, where they wheel out two, um, huge, like, buffet tables, um, and you get to go down, um, go down there and, uh, just get a whole huge plate full of food or to go back as much as you want or whatever. And when, when you do that at the beginning and then, uh, they have a musical and basically you pay mainly for the musical. We figured out, um, our total bill, well, before we got, like, dessert, um, our bill for like the, the musical and our our buffet dinner was $120 which it sounds like a lot but we basically only paid like $55 for the ticket for each ticket for us and then um, like $10 for us to eat I think that comes out right uh, so it wasn't, it wasn't bad, um, so there was that, and like I said, we went and saw Singing in the Rain, which, um, I'm not real big into music, uh, I don't know that, uh, I mean, I've been to some, like, you know, like, civic theater, and, um, I've seen school plays and musicals and stuff like that, but I'm not really into them that much. Um, I don't enjoy them as much as most people, but I really enjoyed uh, Singing in the Rain. Uh, it, it was really, really good, and we're talking about maybe doing it every year. Maybe not totally as our anniversary present or anything, but um, just... We just really enjoyed it, and the food's really good uh, for as little as you pay for it. You know, you roast beef and ham and all this other stuff. We're just really excited about it. So we're thinking about going again next year, um, and they don't allow you to shoot any video or take any pictures or anything. It's understandable. They have an actors' union and all that jazz, so not a problem. So that was fun, and we did that Saturday night. If you're interested, let me know, you know, if you're from Indiana and you're interested, uh, we can give you a link, or you can just look up Beef and Boards, uh, and, yeah, so that was the first thing. The second thing that we got to do, um, we did, uh, Sunday morning, yesterday morning, um, we've been planning on doing it, uh, we went and saw this new movie, Courageous. Um, came out the theaters last weekend, I think it was, and it's evidently, it's like, I think it's number five or something like that, I heard, and I could be wrong, but it's like number five in the box office, from what I've heard, and I tell you, there is a reason for that. Um, I strongly suggest any man, I mean, whether you're a dad or not, um, right now, uh, if you're gonna be a dad, go. Uh, really, really cool movie. 
Um, if you ever saw the movie Fireproof or Facing the Giant, or maybe you happen to see their very first movie, Flywheel, um, these are the guys from, uh, actually it was a church. They just, they had just decided they wanted to make a movie, and their first movie, Flywheel, um, was done, they used one camera for everything. So all their cuts and edits and stuff, they used just one camera. And it was a very low budget movie, and then, uh, Facing the Giant was their more popular movie. It came out right after that, um. And it was a little better budget, and the budget's gotten better. Uh, Fireproof was an amazing, heartfelt movie, um, which I also strong, strongly suggest the married couples watch. Uh, it, it, it is so good. And, let's see. Yeah, so Courageous. Courageous is about these four cops. Um, they're deputy sheriffs, uh, and they... It's hard to say anything without giving anything away. Um, basically, you know, cops are busy. You know, they're really, I mean, they work all the time. And so, they're working, 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 and something happens. I can't say what, but something happens. They kind of brings them all together, and they basically, the main character uh, decides, you know what, I can't. Uh, neglect my family anymore, and he kind of takes this oath between him and these other four, these other three guys, uh, about being a better father and stuff like that, and it was just really cool, and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, if you're a dad, um, or even if you're not a dad, if you're just a married guy in general, um, it's an important thing to watch. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it, you know, uh, I, I heard something on the radio one time, actually it was, uh, it might have been Saturday on the way down there, we just happened to hear an interview with the, the director and star of the movie, um, he, he was being interviewed and, you know, the similarity was drawn, um, to, you know, you look at the cops, I guess the reason they picked cops for the movie is, you know, you look at the cops and their main goal, what their oath is, is to serve and protect. And as a father, you have that same, uh, that same oath when you become a husband, you know, you're there to serve and protect your wife. Um, and the same thing when you have kids. You, know, you have kids and you're there to serve them and show them the right way to live, to not let them down, um, which, you know, it's hard to do. I'm, I'm a dad of a two-year-old. She almost, actually, she'll be three next month, and, you know, life is hard, um, but I really think this movie hits the nail on the head, and when you walk out, you want to be a better, better father. Uh, you, you really want to see your kids' lives be changed. I have a guy on a bicycle right here. Same thing, probably. Anyway, um, you uh, you really want to see your kids' lives changed and see your own life changed through what these guys talk about. Um, very good stuff, you know. Uh, I don't really ever cry during movies ever. But, you know, I cried probably two or three times during this movie just because I was so moved. They did a really good job. Production value, like I said, really went up. Um, and I strongly encourage you to go see it. Um, I will hopefully be putting this on my computer before I upload it. I'll put some links in the description box below. Um, if you have questions, leave a comment subscribe and tell other people to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching Various.